Well, it looks like going into the 2024 elections, transgender people are going to be topic number one. Why do I say this? Donald Trump just released a massive video targeting the trans community and laying out all of his anti-trans policies if he were to be elected president. He did this shortly after Ron DeSantis stood in front of a press conference and did the same thing. I'm going to play the Trump video and we're going to talk about it after. The left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Ridiculous. A process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. I will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or health care provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare and will be terminated from the program immediately. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich at the expense of vulnerable patients, in this case, very vulnerable. We will also investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination. Did you catch that? Yeah, he was talking about like trans kids and banning things for trans kids, which is bad enough, which is absolutely terrible. I've talked about that a million times here. But then he also slipped in at any age at some point. And look, it's no lie that Republicans are targeting transgender people in general. Um, I'm just afraid that like going to this 2024 election, we are going to be topic number one. And so I'm hoping that all of you can be prepared for that and be good advocates. All of you allies out there, try to be the best advocates you can because you need to be ready to stand up for us whenever that election comes.